Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope we're all making really great progress on our homework this week and we're staying safe. Today, we're going to read a really fun fiction story about candy. What do you guys think? I think I like candy. This story is called If I Owned a Candy Factory by James Walker Stevenson. Pictures by James Stevenson. Let's see what happens when this kid owns a candy factory. If I owned a candy factory, I'd write a letter to all my friends and ask them, what kind of candy do you like best? And what day is your birthday? Then on each person's birthday, a car would pick him up. On Harvey's birthday, the car would come and take Harvey to my candy factory. Sounds like a good birthday. Happy birthday, Harvey. Harvey and I would go inside the factory. You said gumdrops in your letter, didn't you? Yes. That is your gumdrop collecting car, Harvey. Oh, boy. Whoa, a huge car with his name on it. Harvey and I would ride through my factory. Look, I see them on his gumdrop collecting car. And park Harvey's gumdrop collecting car under the gumdrop dropper. And I would blow my whistle and down would come gumdrops. And more gumdrops until the car was full. Oh my gosh, imagine if you got that many gumdrops. And then Harvey and his gumdrops would get pulled home. On Jane's birthday, the car would pick her up and bring her to my factory. Jane would say, red lollipops, please. And that's what she'd get. On Peter's birthday, he would like a very long string of delicious licorice. That is a very long string. After all my friends had their birthdays and taken their candy home, I would put a big sign on my factory that says, Welcome. And I would invite all the children in the whole world to come to my factory and help themselves to candy. If I owned a candy factory. Wow, he would do some pretty amazing things if he owned a candy factory. I started thinking, what would I do if I owned a candy factory? So I'm going to write a first, next, and last story about that today with you guys, okay? So the title says, If I Owned a Candy Factory. Do I start with the word last? I don't think so. I think I start with the word first. So first, I would invite my friends and family that's a good start right hmm. next I would throw them a candy party. What comes after next? Last. Last. We would all eat tons of candy. Okay, those are my three things. Notice when I wrote my first next last story, I didn't write three different things. I didn't write first I would invite my friends, next I would go to the park, and last I would watch a movie, right? 
those three things didn't go together with owning a candy factory, right? I told you three parts of what would happen if I owned a candy factory, and they all made sense together. And I remembered my words first, next, and last, okay? While you guys are writing today, I want you to remember to try to use the words first, next, and last to tell a whole story, just like we practiced in school, okay? But that's my video for today. I got to go because I got to illustrate my story today. And I got a label, right? Can't forget my labels. Thanks for joining me and helping me write my story so now I can go spend some time adding details and labels to my illustration that matches my words. I think you guys can follow the same challenge, okay? Happy working.